What's up boys and girls? Welcome back to a, yet again, another video. Um, it is the 21st today, I think I just finished a night shift, so I don't get on. Blah. With all the dates, but today we are installing the RS vac pipe. I am going for a gloss black engine though, but I thought I might as well have a little bit of orange in there. So I thought this might look quite nice. Comes with this, the loom, and there's a little rubber cap to go over the crosser pipe. I don't know why it's blue, I'm guessing he ran out of black ones. Who cares? You ain't really gonna be able to see it. And I can order another one or something like that. I'll show you how to do this. It is a little bit tricky. Things you will need, probably just a lighter, to be honest, and you know, eat your Weetabix, because putting some of these pipes off is very hard after they've been in the car for 13 years, so. But we got a full set of instructions, step by step, couple of pictures. Two pages worth. So hopefully we can do it, get it done. But I'll do it by how to take the vac pipe off, then dismantling the pipe because you've got to take two of the pipes off the sensor, um, and then how you attach this and the loom and so on. So let's get to it. I shall cut to the part where I'm in the engine bay. Right, guys. So we're in the engine bay to start with. Uh, you want to unclip this first. So I'm pretty sure this just comes up. You can move the battery out of the way as well if you want. Pretty sure. There you go. Push that in. The little brown switch. Put it out. The back pipe itself. Push this little cog in. Yours should be red maybe green, but just push that in, pull it out. Little vac pipe sensor on the back of here. So there's two clips on the back, if you can see. Get a torch in there. So that little green tab there. There you go. That little green tab right there. I'll point out in the video after editing it. But you just want to push both sides of that. So there's one down there, one down there. Push that, pull it out. It is a little bit fiddly. Shut up the camera quickly. I hate doing this one. There you go. So that's the majority of it out. Now, it's going to be really hard to get a camera set up for this, but this tubing goes all the way to the brake servo. So all the way down here. So all you want to do is pull out the brake servo, pull out these clips. I'll show you how to take them off. Right, so the best way to take off these clips, I believe, is if you just pry a little screwdriver behind the back and just give it a little wiggle. There you go, there's one. because these snap really easily, so I will replace them. It's a bit hard with one end, but you get the gist. And obviously then pull out that right there. Pull it out there. You don't need to, but this just makes it a little bit easier. Focus. 
pretty sure you should hear a vacuum sort of leak when you pull this out. I can hear it coming out. You need to get your hand right behind it. That's out. Have a snap it. Thank God. Right. This is what you should have. Now with a lighter, carefully, you want to heat up these. Twist them, put out. Twist, put out. And then I think you need to do the same with this one. This one should just put out. Though. I think that one's a little bit easier. But let me stop the camera. Right. So I'm just going to go over the instructions again. So we've done the dismantling, sorry, the taking out. Only need from the original is the rear pipe part as the sensor both pitch on the right is the rest for the bin. So you only need this part here. The rest of it goes in the bin pretty much. So yeah, I don't think you need to worry too much about ruining this. So it's mainly just take this bit out and these two pipes here on there. So let's do that. But it says they use a lighter to heat the pipe all around where it joins. Um, to the sensor, as if you're heating your hand, not keeping it in one place too long. So, I shall start with this part here first. I'll see, there is literally so much wind today. This might not even work. Right, this is taking way too long. So I'm literally just gonna slice there, slice there. This is the main important one that you need to do. So just make sure you don't break this one. But the rest should be fine. So I'll get a standing blade and then cut these two little bits off. This is very hard, very, very hard. Right. Let's just slice open one of the ends. So you don't need this, I don't believe. I mean. oh. Done. That is the main bit you need. And then this part up here. Just double check this instructions because he does say you need to cut. Uh, in the pictures to the left is what you should end up with. The rear pipe will be an inch longer than needed, but cutting down will make it harder to get the sensor back on. Some people cut and some leave as is. Okay. So maybe I won't cut that you only have to cut an inch he said so it would be that but that is very very strong so that was easier i literally just needed to heat up more right that's done now these are your pipes the next set of instructions are so, you want to put this into here. Uh, make sure it's around the right way. So you want the brake servo plug into face that way. That into there. Seems about right. I think this one just slips a little bit over. Yeah. Over here, 
up this up a little bit as well. That's as far as I'm gonna get it to be honest guys. I'll try my best off camera, but that's about as far as I'm getting it, so give me two seconds. Alright guys, I think it couldn't get any further, but it is sealed around the top, so I'm not too bothered. And then your last but not least is the math extension boom and the bung. So the bung goes where that other sensor went. So you put that on the back. So it should look like that. Just here. Take your bloom extension. Plug that into the bottom of this. Now, you just want to do the reverse of taking this off. So, look at this. That's pushing up right against on that, so I might have to trim it. Just so it snits, so it's snugger. But let me see how I can uh, bend it around and see what it looks like. trim it a little bit. Guys, I'm literally just going to trim it here. I'm gonna try and get this in guys and then I'll show you off camera. All right guys, I literally got as much as I could on it without burning my hand straight off. Look at the size of that blister that just popped. Actually the pipe's so hot when you like heat up, but I think that should be fine. Um, I don't see any other way of getting it on perfect. Now you just wanna take this loom, sort of push it under. Or even at the top, I mean, you can come around here. But if you want to keep the engine bay quite tidy like me, come under here. Grab it from underneath. Plug it in. Uh, let me set up the camera again. Which way it goes. There we go. 
So I just take a little bit of this top bit off. Not too much. There you go. Try that again. There you go. In. Hide it. Plug this pipe back into here. And you're done. That is that. All done. You can chuck all this away. It's no use to you. But yeah. Thank you for watching. I fucking hated installing it. I'm not going to lie. That's like a 9 out of 10 job. Some people might find it easy, but I've literally, I've burnt. If you can see a massive hole in my hand, we're just going to get loads of chemicals in later. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You never know, the channel might help you out. But yeah, everything's a bodge job nowadays. So I shall see you in the next one. Get back to the days when I was in the lab. Only day one to me, all the rest trash. Yo made excuses, I was making rats. Saw me like nice child, that's too bad. Boy, you better watch your mouth before I pop off in the campgrounds. Nah. Days I wanna rest, no doubt, better pop off in the campgrounds. Nah.